Hello, in this RPS, RPCS3 video, we are going to look at how to set up your Xbox controller to the emulator. So there's a, like a few different types of Xbox controllers that you can use. This is an Xbox Series X controller, or the one that comes with the Series X. This is the, or the Series controller. This is a original Xbox One controller. And then you got the 360 controller, which I've lent to a friend but there's that one as well. So let me cover it in terms of wired. If you're doing it wired, all Xbox controllers except for Xbox 360 can just be plugged in with a, well, USB-C for Xbox Series X, micro USB for Xbox, you know, one and one X and one S controllers, plug, plug and play and it will work fine. For Xbox 360, yes, there isn't a, like a port on the top of it, and let me show you, I want this to be as comprehensive as possible. So this is just like a new update to the Xbox controller video because I know people have had issues with the older one because you know things have changed slightly. So if I just show you controller port and you see that port right there, what you could do, you could have a wireless controller and you could get this like pretty thick looking cable that would go on to it and there'll be a USB port on the other end. Unfortunately, that does not transfer data. That is for charging only if you have like the play and charge kit. So that can't be made wired, you know, wired. If you have a wired Xbox 360 controller where the wires, you know, hard in there and it's not detachable, it, then yeah, that's fine. That will also work. And any other sort of wired, you know, controllers generally will work fine. But in terms of wireless, you can either just plug them in, apart from the 360, and you're good to go, no issues at all, or you can connect them via Bluetooth. So this is where it gets a bit tricky. And if you have an Xbox controller that came with your Series X or Series S, uh, or you bought it in, you know, recently, then you've got built-in Bluetooth, and you can just use a you know, Bluetooth dongle on your computer, or the built-in Bluetooth on your laptop, and you're all good to go. If, however, you have an Xbox One controller, this is where it gets a bit dicey for the simple reason you may or may not need an extra dongle uh, to do it because it may or may not have the regular Bluetooth built in. And you can identify that, you know, using this website. I'll provide a link in the description. Basically, if it's one of the launch Xbox One controllers, you're out to look. If it came, out, came with you like your Xbox One S, Xbox One X, you should be all good to go. And I will find that the older LB and RB buttons, you know, stick a bit inside when you try and hit, you know, click them inwards. That's just one of my ways of identifying them. And there's a bit more of a grip on the newer ones as well. But like I said, I will provide this link and this will basically allow you to identify if you have a Bluetooth or a non-Bluetooth mod model. If you have a Bluetooth model, then you'll be able to hook it up the way I'm gonna show you in a second. If not, you will need one of two things. If you have the Xbox One controller, non-Bluetooth wireless, then you will need one of these dongles. <laughs> they can be a bit expensive, unfortunately, but the, if you want wireless, I mean, I would, I would just recommend getting a new controller, even a used one probably be more economical there and you, you you'll be a lot more you're compatible with other devices just my opinion on it and with this you plug it in the little button at the top outside you press it you're going to sync mode press sync button on your controller and you're good to go and you can sync it up that that's what you do for 360 if you want wireless you have to have a dongle there's no way around it there's no bluetooth built in and the wireless controllers can't be made wired using that play and charge kit wire because it only transfers power, no data. So you'll need one of these sort of, you know, dongles. I had this white one, I believe, back in the day. Again, I lent that to a friend as well, so I have not had that back. And literally plug it in, press that button there, and it'll start the light to start flashing. Press the 360 controller, sync button, and it will sync and you're all good to go. If you've got one of the Bluetooth ones, I'll show you how to sync that. So make sure you've got Bluetooth on your computer. And I'm just gonna just type in Bluetooth. This works on Windows 10, 11, like eight, doesn't really matter what version you've got. And at this point, all you do is go to add. I will remove all paired devices as well. And what you do, add Bluetooth or device and click Bluetooth. If it's a bit, you know, iffy here and it doesn't work properly, go to 
devices and printers and this is sort of like the old menu you go to add a device and from here you know add it if you have an issue so i find sometimes it appears there when it doesn't appear here so add bluetooth click bluetooth and what you do this little button right here you keep that pressed and the light will start flashing at the front pretty fast that means it's in sync mode xbox wireless controller click that and that will go solid momentarily gone solid that means it's connected so now if you search for game controller set up usb game controllers and there we go it's appeared in here it doesn't matter what the you know title is let's go to properties and if doing this and pressing buttons activate stuff on here you're all good to go and if you was to plug a wire in directly and not use the wireless mode then it will appear here as well and you can you know confirm it that it has appeared as long as it is working here you're all good to go if it isn't then there's a problem and it probably won't work in probably in anything after that and pop us a message or post in the rpcs3 channel in the discord group under the link in the description okay so now that this is working it's actually you know map the controller so all of that just to get you ready to, to the point where we can start mapping it so open up rpcs3 again not condoning policy for educational purposes click pads and you can also access that by going to configuration pads and here you want to configure whichever player you want so i'm going to do player one and go to handlers go to x input and go to devices again it's only got one connected so i select that one for example and now we literally just go about and map it so if i press press down press up it had already been mapped but let me just show you if i was to press a for example there you go so you just press up and again everything has already got default mapping which is really cool so you know as you can see if you look down here it's got the analog sticks working and i mean there's not really much more than that you can enable and disable vibration as well so just have your small and large that's probably best what you want again you could modify the pressure sensitivity mode the trigger threshold the stick multipliers i'd recommend experimenting with that after like i said everything has been you know already set but you can go ahead and you know set it afterwards as well I mean reset if you want to and you can add a profile cool thing about this is you could have a separate you know configuration for a different game you might actually want to map the d-pad onto the left analog stick or onto the face button for example you could do that for one particular game and then for another game have a or another genre of games have that and that's it just make sure you click save there right there and if it if the save button doesn't appear i found for some people it doesn't it might just be a bit it might be a bit like that off screen just literally just reduce the window size move it up and it should appear right there so click save there we go let me just launch up a game I'm gonna launch up minecraft i'll find that because obviously that's a low intensive it's not very intensive the game isn't it runs pretty well whilst i'm recording as well okay so we can play the game and let's go into there b which would be circle play game and this is the same if you had the xbox one controller you know hooked up with a wire or wireless using the dongle or wireless using the bluetooth or the xbox 360 controller you with the wired version or wireless using the dongle so once you've got it that's the great thing about the xbox controllers on windows because it's all microsoft it works really well and it works pretty much out of the box as well and yeah you can't, you're not generally going to get any better support than what you get with the xbox controllers on windows because like i said it's all microsoft so just wanted to get into the game so i can just show you me moving around but it is working and you saw that i do quite like the feel of the new xbox series controllers I overall, overall prefer the PS5 DualSense for the simple reason it's got a lot more new technology in there. But this 
it's a refined controller. It feels like what we should have got with the Xbox One X and not like a whole new generation controller, but they've approached this generation that Microsoft have with the view of it's not like a new console, it's just kind of like an upgraded console. You can tell the fact that the interface uh, is the same on the console. That's, you know, pretty telling how they think about this generation. And we'll see, you know, if that's the best strategy or Sony's of it is more of a new console. Okay, still generating spawn area. Still waiting. Here we go. So moving around, looking, that should be jump, menu, and there should be what digging. Uh, then I'm trying to do it whilst. And I should be able to place an item there. There we go. So I'll quit now out of Minecraft so that's how you hook up pretty much any Xbox controller you got up to your Windows machine to use it on our PCS3 let me know what other controllers you really want to see hooked up to our PCS3 I'll be doing like PlayStation ones as well those will be the obvious ones and I'll eventually get around to doing Linux stuff as well but there's plenty of videos to you know keep us busy thanks for watching any questions feel free to post Again, in the RPCS free channel, in the Discord group, there's a link in the description, and I'll see you very soon.